Good evening. A 47 year old Maidstone man has been charged with drug related offenses following a traffic stop in Lloydminster. RCMP say they found close to four pounds of marijuana in a vehicle yesterday evening after pulling the driver over on 44th Street for speeding. Investigators say the drugs had a street value of more than $6,000. Alan Turner has been charged under the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act. He's scheduled to appear in a Lloydminster courtroom on May 7th. It's been less than a pleasant spring with temperatures hovering around or below zero. There's still plenty of snow on the ground and that's becoming a cause for concern for producers in the Lakeland as the crop season could take a hit. The weather doesn't turn around soon. Clayton Brown has more. The longer the cooler temperatures and snow hang around, the more hard-pressed farmers will be to get their crops seeded on time, a problem producers haven't faced in years. As this is the, probably the first year, I think in 30 years we've had this much snowpack at this, this late in the season. And uh, because that's happening, I guess like the ground isn't going to be quite you know, ready in time for, for producers to get out there and, and plant their crops. Conditions can change, but it looks like they're going to be laid getting onto their fields. The current conditions are a far cry from just a year ago. Little snow meant producers were already out in the fields by the end of April. Last year at, at this time we were already seeding uh, grass seed in, 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 into, our, um, into our ditches. And so, so if you think about that, we're going to be at least two weeks away from it now. And so yeah, it's a huge difference and farmers are feeling that pinch now too. Canola is one of the primary crops grown in the area, but a shorter growing season could affect those crops drastically. Cornelson says many farmers aren't panicking yet but are looking at other options. Those changes, like where they're going to be changing from, say, from canola or wheat to, say, a shorter season crop like, like barley, those kind of decisions they'll probably be making, like, for a second or third week in May, like when things are starting to hit and, and they're realizing they're actually behind. Minimal frost in the ground is allowing the moisture to soak in quicker, and many are still optimistic. There's kind of a rule of thumb that you never lose a, a crop in April, and there's still, a, you know, a pretty big hope that, uh, that, that you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get some warm weather. In St. Paul, Clayton Brown, Newcap News. Two rural municipalities in our area are getting a boost from the Saskatchewan government for road improvements. Britannia and Wilton are each receiving $750,000 to put towards fixing busy roads. As part of its Municipal Roads for the Economy program, the provincial government is providing 51 RMs with a total of $25.5 million. The grants cover 50% of the costs for the road projects. It's been a whirlwind year for Vermilion Lloydminster MLA Richard Starkey. Since being elected as a fresh face to the legislature last year, he's risen to the job of Minister of Parks, Recreation and Tourism. Now, one of the platforms Starkey ran on was the improvement of health care in the region. While still early on the job, he says he's happy with the progress so far. I'm pleased that uh, Minister Horn and his counterpart in Saskatchewan, the, health, the Saskatchewan Health Minister, are uh, have got a working group formed to uh, look at a Lloydminster Health Services Plan. That's something that needed to be updated very badly. While enjoying the job, the former veterinarian says it can be get difficult balancing both work and personal time. I joke with some people that it's been a one-year calving season and, uh, and it's not... Uh, it's not looking like that's going to let up. You know, when, when we had calving season back at the vet clinic, it would last, you know, for a few months. But once summer rolled around, uh, you know, things would slow down uh, on that end of things. But uh, it's, been, uh, it's been very, very busy, and it promises to stay that way. <laughs> Starkey also hopes to continue support of local agriculture through the provincial and federal levels.